Hey guys, we're here today to install this ECS tuning subframe locking collar kit. Now this is the rears, we've got the fronts as well. We're gonna do it all. We're gonna start with the rears though, since this is the first time I've done anything like this, I'm gonna start with the easier end, the, the back. It just seems a lot easier to me in the instructions that I saw. So we're gonna get a feel for how it's done, how you don't fully take the subframe off, just how everything comes loose so that we can go to the front and just do it much easier. But we're gonna get to it. We've got some subframe clunk we're really trying to get rid of, but there's also some performance benefits, so I'm happy. But let's get to it. Underneath the car we go. <clears throat> so someone actually mentioned that it would, took them longer to put the car up on jacks than it took them to do this kit. So here's to hoping the same thing happens. And I am just looking. I got the kit with the, oh, the safety bolts, whatever, the two extra bolts that can come uh, on your car's rear subframe, depending on the year it was manufactured. And mine was manufactured after the year they say that it would, would have it for the manufacture date. Uh, but I don't think I do. So, I think we can just get cracking on some of these bolts. So there's one up the top back here. What you're, what you're supposed to do is take all of these bolts, sorry for the view of my behind, and then break them free. That's where you, that's where you start. You never take more than one off at a time, but you start by loosening them, bringing them down, the bolts down, or not the bolts, subframe, oopsies, down about 10 millimeters or, or enough to, oh my goodness, what did I have? I forgot lefty this year, or enough to get the collars on the top, so. You just undo them and then slowly lower it over all of them. Oh, I'm stuck, contoured in weird ways. What have I done? All right, okay. I do not see the bolts, the secure, uh, securing ones that they mentioned. Ow. I think we're good. All right. And then what I'm gonna do First, I'll actually show you guys. So you can see, let me make sure you can. That's one of the bolts right there. You've got the sway bar end link and the bolt right there on the rear subframe. Same thing, it's a little dark, but on this side, same thing. And then down front, these are the easiest ones to find. This one is actually holding the exhaust hanger. We'll say bye to you. So that's that one. The same thing on the other side is, there it is. That's the rusted one that I'm really happy we're getting rid of. So that's the four bolts. And then I don't think I can. Nope, I can't undo my hand. So you undo them to get just enough space up above to slide the collars in. So that's what we're gonna work on now. Back you go. All right, so once you actually get everything properly lowered, then you're gonna take the bolts out. This one is one of the new bolts. And then here's one of the collars. This, you can see it, I gotta get it, with the little lip on top is the upper, and then the one with, oh wait, I gotta show it properly. And the one without the lip is the bottom. It's actually really easy. I did a couple just to make sure I was doing it right, and it's super easy. And remember, you just take one bolt out at a time. You don't, you don't take all of them out, just one at a time. Put the collars on, hand tighten it, and then you're gonna work on tightening them later. 
bolt out. This upper collar goes into this hand, goes up, and then you gotta find it right there. Call upper collars in, lower collar over, and then make sure it slides through, and then at least try to make sure it, it's threading proper. Seems like it is. It's just a little stiff. Let's just see. Yeah, that's setting proper. So the torque rating for these bolts is 52 pound feet plus a 180 degree turn. So here is 52. At least maybe. There's 52. And then we are actually gonna swap. Give me this. Do the comically large breaker bar. Oh, comes in handy. Because, oh my goodness, it's so large. 180. That might be 90. That's about 160. Good enough for me. Oh, okay. So that's the rears. Now we gotta get the fronts. Oh, good stuff. That wasn't too hard. So we're just undoing the downpipe exhaust hanger so it doesn't strain the exhaust when you lower the subframe because it's connected together. There it is. Okay. Oh, good night. ECS says to do the fronts with a lift. Good night. I don't blame them. Supposed to have my phone to help with the instructions and I can't find it. Oh. Those, why would it be that far away? Am I missing a bolt? Uh. I'm confused. Maybe I don't need it? Question mark? Maybe they just designed a one, des one design fits all subframe and then just use the bolts they needed and that was it. I think someone else mentioned they only needed three of the steering rack bolts. So maybe I only need three of them too. So I need to get that one, that one, and that one. I'm trying to do it how they tell you, PCS tells you to do. But at the same time, I recognize that I do not have a lift, which apparently would make it a lot easier. Um, so we're on jack stands with the jack. And I think you can go right there. Just like this. All of the bolts are out for hang exhaust hangers, steering rack. Oh, now time to get the subframe bolts. So now we're going up in here. Let's hit the GoPro. I don't know if it meant to say it in a specific order, but it said upper and then lowers. So I'm gonna do the uppers first. Um, got a little hole, you can barely see it. I don't know if you can actually see it, but you got a hole that goes up to the upper subframe bolts up there. So I was trying to be very careful in reading ECS's instructions and the two bolts that come in, came in the package for me the ones with the little collars already on them not the locking collars just the little like something whatever it's called uh, those are lower subframe which are actually these ones down here um, so then 
Oh, just be sure that you get all that situated. Make sure it's all right. Now I'm working on the control arm bracket bolts. We'll get the GoPro. We'll get you. So it's that bolt right there. We'll get you a vantage point of that. Ugh. I wish I had a lift. I wish I had a lift. Full disclosure, this is the part I'm most worried about. My jack isn't exactly the smoothest. Okay. That wasn't terrible. I have no idea how far I came, how far down. Not a clue. Not enough of it here. Not enough there. Okay. Two of the six upper collars are in. Gotta go down a little bit more. If that's not enough, I don't know what is. Oh, so then up in here goes that one. And then I'm getting a nice look at my armpit. Oh, I'll actually show you guys this one. If you can see it. Come with me, camera. If we can find a spot for it. All right, brighter. So yep, this is right where the up here oh good night I'm so sorry if you can't see this but that's the upper and it just slots right in there's enough of a gap I'm sorry if you can't see this but that gap right there on the upper goes right up top that one was pretty easy actually now for the others oops I hit some stuff stuff's going rolling Ooh. all right now this. Ooh, beetle. Not easy. All right, I think I see it. Oh yeah, that's right, right here. Fits in like, oopsies, like a glove and you. like a glove sick okay so silly me forgot to hit record um on getting the bolts lined up they're not torqued down not all of them are even all the way in so sorry you guys missed something that was my fault it happens um with the jack it's, it was actually pretty easy to get most of them lined up i've got one that is giving me troubles but just one this last one so that's not bad we're going to lower this back down just a little bit to get it all lined up. Um, if you don't do it this way, I assume it's even harder to get everything lined back up. People say it's pretty difficult. So I decided to risk it with my not so trustworthy jack stand and it's worked out pretty well. So hopefully we can get this done. Y'all have to take my word for it that I struggled with this for a little bit. Um, because I lowered it, now it's going up much nicer. I think... You can 
get rid of this guy. Ah, running over my own hair. Ah. All right, so torquing them down to spec. Every bolt that we put a shim or a collar on is 51 pound feet. And then the steering rack are 36 pound feet, I think it was, I just looked at the instructions. Uh, and all of them want a 90 degree turn afterwards. So let's get to it. All right, well now that everything is back up with the collars in place, let's take it out and see how it drives. There were some genuinely staggering results from this subframe locking collar kit, although the clunk still did persist, unfortunately. If you would like to watch a full review on this locking collar kit, please find the Butt Dino Report video on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Please subscribe. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye.